I'm showing love so I can get rid of the pain Still in the hood, I'm thanking God I'm here today He's got my back, I'm never lacking when I pray I'm trying to make a better way Style isn't so much about how you look or what you show. It's more about how your mind works. Because it's, it's very easy to just behave a certain way or look a certain way. You know, you can fake the funk, but style comes from within. And because I spend a lot of time on getting to know myself, everything that I do virtually is, is, is stylish. I'm a very stylish dude. I know that and they know that as well, you get me? Some of the biggest subcultures that made an impact on me as a kid was, was the music that was close to home. Grime, UK hip hop, a lot of West Coast hip hop, East Coast hip hop in America, funk, and house, soulful house and deep house. I'm like, I'm like a seed. A seed to me, yeah, the definition of a seed is like something that has a massive potential. All of the components in me are now blossoming. So some of the genres people see me um, stepping into or, or doing were seeds that I had in me from young. Anyway, so it might seem like, oh, Nov's doing something new, but it's not new to me. You feel me? I feel like Lewis should prepare me for life. Be in a fun war zone. It was a definite war zone, but it was fun as well. And it taught me to have fun in the midst of all the different wars that we've got to go through in life. People say there's no sense of community in London, but that's not true. <laughs> as simple as that, it's not true. You come to where I'm from, you get to know the people that you're around, innit? So there might be separate sections, but wherever corner you're from, I'm sure that that's a community in itself. To me, community means my neighbours, whether I like them or not. Sometimes it's the person that you don't like who, who, who needs what you have, or who possesses what you need. That's the thing about community. And if, if everyone acknowledges that we can look after each other, and make a community better. Yeah, I do feel, feel a responsibility to be a role model because when I was growing up, there was people that I saw doing their thing that inspired me and I know the impact that it had on me. You know, there's this term that floats around these days. People say influencer. I really don't like that term because it's like, what are you influencing? But if you do understand that you have an influence, then it's better to use that power, so to speak, to the benefit of others. The actions that I, I take and the things that I say can affect someone to the positive or to the negative. I'm not the be all and end all of someone's decision making, but I do understand that the things that I do can have an impact on that. So I'm still gonna be myself regardless, but like they used to say in The Simpsons, think about the children, you get me? The best dressed people around me when I was growing up was Honestly, I'd have, I'd have to say my, my main influence was my uncle, OG novelist. Those who know, they know, some don't know. I'm, I'm really younger novelist, uh, or novelist the second, some may say, get me? I got my name from my uncle and my whole pizzazz and kind of like energy towards life come from just observing my uncle, you feel me? So he would he would drop garments on me and, and different stuff. I always thought he was flying. I kind of got a dress sense from that. When did I first become aware of Billionaire Boys Club? I mean, when you're, when you're young, you see all of that. You see, you see what the Neptunes and their man there was doing. But you're a youth, so you're not necessarily paying attention to the, to the brands and the aesthetics. You just think those dudes look cool. But it's, it's really when I became about 16, 17. And, and I used to see the homeboy, Ross. <laughs> you got a man like Ross. I used to see Ross in the clubs and different, different stuff. And, He's always like taking care of me, showing me about the brand and that, and been rocking ever since. One of my favourite films is Back to the Future, just because of the concept of time travelling. And I'm one of them people that believe that the only thing that's impossible is impossible itself. So I like when I see those kind of themes being touched on because they're stuff that the average man wouldn't necessarily consider as a real factor in life. But me, I kind of look at it a bit deeper. One of my favourite places to eat is um, a Chinese restaurant or chain called uh, The Royal China. I like The Royal China, especially the one in Canary Wharf, right by the river. Hard, proper. Used to go Virgin Active and then go Chinese afterwards. Some people wouldn't expect me to like would be the You and Me song. You know that tune? 
you and me always and forever. Da, 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 da. That tune's a bang of man. I love that tune. Ego is comprised of what people think of their selves, so to speak. As, as far as they're concerned, is, 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 is where their ego is, but, but the truth stands irrespective of that. So that's why I said that, because I feel like sometimes, <laughs> sometimes the truth will snap someone out of that ego state, you feel me? I've never needed a break in music. Like every time that um, maybe I, I came to a new level, in sense of socially or, or around other people, it was organic, but it was offered a foundation of me doing me. So I feel as though the people who have helped me become who I am recognised that I was doing my thing, showed me their appreciation by offering their best as well, you know? So big thanks to everyone who's ever contributed to my, my journey on a whole, but for, for me, I, I, I don't look at music like that. I've, I look at music like some, it's a journey, isn't it? You feel me? You can't determine a journey by, by, by the different bus stops. The, the whole journey is the whole journey, and that's, that's, it's always going to continue. Don't stop till the cars get drunk. The most talented person I've ever worked with, my brother. Definitely my blood brother, Prem. In terms of concepts, capability, um, authenticity, you know, because a lot of people in life have got skills. There's a lot of skillful people. I don't accredit skill and talent as the same thing. There's some people that can play 10 instruments. I don't call that talent, because you can go and learn and do that. Respect to them though, I'm not discrediting it. But talent to me is, is some next thing from within. Like being able to draw something straight out of the spirit realm into the natural realm, to where people are like, what is this? Where does this come from? How did you even think of this? That's, that's talent to me. The, the, the main thing that motivated me to make a success in my music is making music that, that I think sounds good. That's the main thing. And when you make music that you think is good and you're, you're happy and willing to put it out, there's always 100% guaranteed going to be other people who think it's good as well. And that's really what success is. Success isn't all the accolades, it's just you being happy with what you've done and then putting it out. My ring entrance song, if I was a boxer, It'll be novelist, pay what is old. Pay what is old, it will get cold. Trust me, I mean that. Man's not playing with these, man, till I got mine and more, I won't relax. My team, my boss is only, better believe that contract's only, bro, let me see that. Taking all of the gold, it's bean laps. Yeah.